Welcome back to a very cold and snow-covered St. Petersburg, Russia. The Cup of Russia continues now the fifth of six events in the ISU Grand Prix of figure skating. And inside the sports and concert complex, it is not much warmer in here as the men get ready for their short program, including Yevgeny Plashenko, the reigning Russian national champion, 12 points overall in the Grand Prix with a win here in St. Petersburg, where he lives and trains. He will guarantee himself a spot in the Grand Prix final. From China, Zheng Jin Guo, a part of this competition, seventh in the world last season, Almost won the Nations Cup competition, finished in second right behind Alexei Yagudin, the reigning world champion. And from the U.S., Trifon Zavanovich, the silver medalist from the U.S. National Championships, a fifth place finish at that competition in Germany, but a solid start. He was pretty pleased with his performance there. Overall, the Grand Prix standings look like this. Yagudin already in. He'll be in Lyon, France for the final. Stoiko should be there as well. Plushenko trying to clinch a spot here in Russia. Zheng Xin Guo of China with nine points right now needs a good performance in this event. And more than likely, Michael Weiss, even though he is not skating here in Russia, with the movements of the other skaters in Cup of Russia, he should be eliminated from that Grand Prix final. Peter, what about the required elements here in the short program? It's loaded. The men will do a double or a triple axle. Most guys will do the triple, a triple or a quadruple jump. The jump combination, a double and a triple jump, or two triples, the flying spin, camel spin, or a sit spin. Then the spin combination and two footwork step sequences. That is a lot to cover in two minutes and 40 seconds. This men's short program with one third of the overall score and gets underway with the 24 year old from Los Angeles, Trifon Zavanovich. His second event this season in the Grand Prix. is a laundry list of elements that you have to perform jumps spins and footwork but think of it like this the skater wants to get through each element without a mistake because a deduction occurs if you make a mistake within that element right away triple lutz very nice He'll go for the triple axle, triple toe loop, forward takeoff, always three and a half revolutions, and almost coming to a grinding halt on the second jump. He'll want to have more speed running out of the landing of that second jump to make it effective in the future. Quadruple jumps are allowed in the short program, of course. Triffin does not plan one. Has not landed one cleanly in competition yet, although he came awfully close at the Four Continents competition last season. That is, those steps that you see go straight down the ice. There's the flying spin. Hockey player turned figure skater. Still big hockey fan. Griffin Zivanovich from L.A. 16th at the World Championships last season. Mentioned earlier, fifth place finish at Nations Cup. Trying to better that here. Steps leading up to this triple Lutz. The right foot picks into the ice. He vaults up off that. Very nice. But on the second jump, 
that we're going to see. You'll notice that he's moving pretty well here on the triple axle, three and a half rotations. But watch what happens on this jump, almost at a stop. And the foot touches down. Again, he will want more run out on that landing in the future. Yeah. Triffin with his coach, Gary Visconti, who may be the most animated coach in figure skating. We saw him last year at the U.S. National Championship just going nuts when Triffin won the silver medal. First of two sets of marks for required elements, 4.7 to 5.3. And in practice, actually, Gary was telling me, I want Triffin to go through his program and never stop so that he's sure when he's in competition. Presentation marks 4.6 to 5.4 for Triffin Savanovich. When we come back, Zheng Jingguo of China, known for his quad jumps. He has one plan here in the short program. He'll take the ice when we come back. Wrestling's biggest superstars collide in the best of Starcade. The Flash Scorpion! Bring up 30 seconds! This explosive compilation features classic carnage and historic battles from over a decade of destruction. The best of Starcade. On pay per view. Buffet Land in Koreatown is a food lover's oasis. Enjoy outdoor patio dining in our beautiful gardens with your favorite sports. Buffet Land is open for lunch and dinner. Our banquet facility caters to your office needs or your family's celebration. Help yourself to all-you-can-eat sushi, abundant and healthy salads, and tabletop Korean barbecue. Don't forget dessert. Buffet Land is conveniently located on Olympic, just blocks from downtown, near Alvarado, and minutes to the west side. Come and join us. Counting down the true elite, as determined by Sports Century's outstanding panel of historians, broadcasters, and journalists. Number six, Jesse Owens. Number five, Wayne Gretzky. ESPN Sports Century's 50 Greatest Athletes. Number six, Jesse Owens at 10. Number five, Wayne Gretzky at 10.30. Friday on ESPN, presented by General Motors. Back in St. Petersburg, the men's short program continues now as Zheng Jinguo of China takes the ice. Seventh at the World Championships last season. And we mentioned going to break, he is known for getting up in the air and turning four times. Master of the quad, he has one planned in the short. Boy, was he impressive. In the past Grand Prix competition, a huge quad. Can he follow it up? Do it again. Oh, but he'll just warm up with an easy triple axel. Triple toe. <laughs> like Zavonovic. Like Zavonovic, he didn't have great run out, but he was better as far as his back position straighter. Here's the quad. Oh. Just a piece of cake for him. How easy did he make that look? The reason for that is he trusts his timing, and he gets the spring he needs to create the rotation. And he never fools with that when the pressure is on him. Drop into a back sit spin.
Well, he sure did set the bar there. A lot for these men to chase. Well, you mentioned how impressive he was in his last Grand Prix event. That was a second place finish at Nations Cup in Germany. Zheng Jin Guo of China. This man has a great understanding that you have to get up in the air before you start your rotation. His timing is perfect for that. They want to have a little bit better run out here, but he's straight and he does not put his foot down. So there's no deduction there. Very wise on his part. This quad kind of takes on the look of a triple. It's so easy for him, but he just lets it climb to the top. Tight air position allows him to rotate like that. Great landing. He began skating at the age of five alongside the Chinese pairs team, Shannon Zhao, there. All three from the city of Harbin, which is kind of a skating mecca in China. Required element marks now, 5.5 to 5.7, a wide range. Very solid marks, though. The Chinese are coming on very strong and all disciplines. Presentation marks 5.2 to 5.6, and that's where he's tried to make the most strides. In fact, Rene Roken Gorsha Sir, the U.S. Ice Dance champion from the past, working with him in his choreography. Zheng Xin Guo into the lead. Back in St. Petersburg as the men are on the ice competing here at the Cup of Russia. And don't forget, it sets things up for the men's free skate. It comes your way Sunday over on ABC Sports. Beginning at 2 o'clock Eastern time, the men will decide their title. We'll have the ladies free skate as well from St. Petersburg Sunday over on ABC. Back in the sports and concert complex here in St. Petersburg, Russia, the men's short program continues with Alexander Apt from Moscow, 23 years of age. One of the favorites, obviously, with this crowd. Touchdown on that landing, three tenths there. came out of the scene with so much promise. We saw him at Skate America a few years ago. Won the bronze medal at Europeans in 98. Has had injury after injury. He is finally healthy for the first time in a long time. And that's always difficult because the recovery time that you need for these injuries, you're losing ground on the guys that are doing their jumps day in and day out. It was as if this crowd wanted a reason to believe that Alexander App could take it to a certain level once again. They got more and more into his program as it went on. 
Absolutely true. And with Guo being so good to meet this pressure, good for him. Touchdown on that quad, though. Three tenths off the first mark. Yeah, he's thrilled, though. Gets plenty of air for this triple axle. Good rotation. And he doesn't rush the takeoff of the second jump. Good double toe loop for the triple double combo. Now on this quad, you have to watch the feet on the landing. Good rotation in the air, but you can't ignore the fact that he does touch down on two feet. That's a three-tenths deduction. A triple that's clean without a touchdown actually will not have a deduction. So let's check out his marks now. Required elements, 5.1 up to 5.7. And these are solid marks. Tough to see sometimes for the touchdown, but the attempt, I think, gets credit. Oh, look at that. Did four rotations. And look at the presentation marks, 5.4 to 5.7. So Alexander Up, the crowd favorite here, into the lead over Zheng Jin Guo of China and Trifin Zivanovic of the U.S. As Andre Vlashenko of Germany takes the ice. Saw him earlier at Nations Cup in Germany where he finished sixth. <laughs> 25-year-old who has been on the scene for some time now, a four-time German champion, two-time Latvian champion when he was living there. He was ninth at the Worlds last season, but a fifth place finish in 98. Does not have the quad planned. Triple axle, double toe loop. To be competitive and be up among the top men, the guys are hitting the quads and landing them on one foot. That really sets them apart. The triple Lutz there. Circular footwork, have to make a complete circle around. Nice. Almost going on his nose on that double axle, pitching forward. Lashenko made it to the Grand Prix Final last season after Takeshi Honda and Elvis Stoiko dropped out. It was not a good event for him, though. He finished sixth out of six competitors. The championship held right here in this building. Actually got a lot of presentation in his skating. The way he expresses the character within the music. Andre Vlashenko, his effort in the short program. Tough acts to follow, though. Alexander Afton, Zheng Jin Guo, certainly not on the same level with his short. The first jump that he did was the triple axle, triple toe. Three and a half rotations. You got to stop the rotation and then go right up into the next jump. He was falling forward on the first landing. Now you can see later on in the program that is accentuated even more so here. Watch him really go forward, and that was only two and a half rotations, so problems within the axle jump itself, but still, no fall. The marks now for Glashenko for required elements, 4.9 to 5.4. You can really see how much the quad adds when you do it without a mistake. 
It's not done here, but the second mark for presentation, yeah, Peter, 5.3 to 5.6. So even without the quad, Blashenko able to move into the top three. Well deserved. The presentation in his program was very good. Trifon Sabanovic of the U.S. now moves down to the fourth spot. When we come back, the reigning world silver medalist and current Russian national champion at home, Yevgeny Blashenko takes the ice next. In St. Petersburg, where Alexander Apt of Russia leads over Zheng Guo of China and Andrei Vlashenko of Germany here in the men's short program. But the crowd favorite at home here in St. Petersburg, 17-year-old Yevgeny Vlashenko takes the ice, the reigning Russian national champion and reigning world silver medalist. What makes this program so spectacular is not only the incredible jumps that he'll fire off, but the fact that it is to saber dance, a very difficult piece of music to skate to. Fast, right away, the quad. Oh, and really hard fall. Certainly didn't slow him down, though. He is really moving into this triple axle, triple toe loop, the first, the second, waits nicely, good timing. Remember, he won the Nations Cup competition in Germany, so he's trying to wrap up a spot at the Grand Prix Final with a win here. Down the road, I just know he's gunning for that world title like there's no tomorrow. Of course, it's fellow Russian Alexei Yagudin who has owned that title the past two seasons. Really fast footwork, steps quick, changes of direction. That's what makes it hard. Judges respect that. he's got in that program really solid it's required but he does it well hard to grab that leg and keep spinning especially for men do that we're not so flexible do that see it more with the ladies but Tough fall in the beginning. Tough fall in the beginning. Remember, Guo did the quad. Alexander Apt did the quad, but came down on two feet. So it wasn't exactly clean. And Plushenko not able to do the quad. Of course, that's not the only thing in his program. The 17-year-old world silver medalist here at home. Really moving well into the quad. He didn't hold back. But it got a little bit swingy. That is, the check wasn't solid on the takeoff, so he spins out on the landing. Four tenths there. We'll see that on the first mark. And now here, the triple axle. Forward takeoff gets up in the air with plenty of height. Waits, doesn't rush the second triple. That allows him a very successful landing on the second jump. And these feet really move fast, changes of direction. He has a lot of agility, and the judges certainly respect that. Speed, power, presentation, it's all there. So we'll see how it works out with the judges now. First set, 
in the 5-3 to 5-5 five, five range. Well, that tells me that we're going to see the second set of marks much higher because they had to take the deduction for the quad on the required elements. What will the presentation show? Well, you can tell by the reaction. 5-7 to 5-9. So the presentation marks, that's what gets Yevgeny Plushenko to the top of the leaderboard over Alexander Ap and Zheng Jin Guo. And up next, Ivan Denev, the final skater here in the men's short program, comes off a top three finish at Trophy La Ligue, trying to do the same here in Russia. Welcome back to Cup of Russia. Terry Gannon, Peter Carruthers, rinkside with the final skater here in the men's short program taking the ice, Ivan Denev of Bulgaria. Evgeny Plushenko, your leader, or Alexander Apt and Zheng Jin Guo right now. Now with his third place finish that just occurred at Trophy Lalique, his confidence should be good. And I'll say it is on that triple axle, triple toe loop. Mentioned that third place finish, he received seven points in relation to Michael Weiss of the U.S., who has nine right now. Denev certainly one of those skaters that could bump him out of the Grand Prix Final. Oh, and then a very strange mistake on his triple flip jump. Think about it, he fired off six and a half rotations in the combination, and then the individual triple jump problems. Tough competition on the quads. Not a lot of great quads in this competition, but for the most part, he knows shaking his head, going down on that triple flip. Problems there for sure. Ivan Denev, 21 years of age, from Sofia, Bulgaria, a three-time national champion. This is the triple axle, triple toe loop. He has a good position on the takeoff, shoulder square to the ice, and then a nice, easy set up for the triple toe very well done but right after that he didn't keep the momentum going and it was right here this is the triple flip right foot gets you up into the air and he gets too far back on his heel and that's why he falls backwards on the edge leaning backwards no result well you can tell by his posture that he doesn't expect very good marks first set 4.7 up to 5.2. Peter's couch they borrowed for this competition. <laughs> from the living room. Presentation marks 5.2 up to 5.5. 5. 
champion. So Ivan Denev of Bulgaria currently in fifth place. But your leader after the short program, no surprise, Yevgeny Plushenko. Over Alexander Ab, who is a bit of a surprise in second. Then Zheng Jin Guo of China in third, Blashenko. And right behind Denev, Trifon Zivanovich of the U.S. From humble beginnings in Volgograd, about a thousand miles from here, to a hero in St. Petersburg. Yevgeny Plushenko goes for the gold medal here at Cup of Russia. It comes your way on ABC Sports Sunday afternoon at 2 Eastern, along with the ladies free skate. Up next tonight, though, the ice dancers take the ice. Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz of Canada trying to win for the second time in the Grand Prix series and wrap up a spot in the Grand Prix final. But right now, it's the Italians, Busserpoli and Morgaglio, in the lead after the compulsory dance. The original dance comes your way when we return to the Cup of Russia.